This will be taken to the back of the end zone. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And not a whole lot doing there. So he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. A gain of three, second down. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Throwing on second down. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Breeze on the draw against a Camara. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, here's Breeze. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it that time to Ted Ginn, and it's third and short. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best Easy. quarterbacks... They'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfect. Looking for Ginn, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. How, oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The Dallas Cowboys so good at home this year. 7-1 during the regular season. That helped earn them the NFC's title. So they come home. They beat Seattle. Now, though, they go on the road for a much tougher test. It is indeed a much tougher test. The Los Angeles Rams, a defensive front led by Aaron Donald, who many think could be the MVP of the league this season. And since 1996... The Dallas Cowboys are 0-5 in the divisional round, so they're trying to take on history as well. This is Elliott. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. They'll run with Elliott. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense. Countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Right, 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 right. Here we go, here we go, here we 
From the shotgun, it's Prescott. That's going to be caught. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Here go 47. Here go 46. Here we go now to Smith. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. He's going to get it running right. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in from four yards out. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. And result, touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Well, Charles, a little bit earlier you were talking about the first time that the Saints and Eagles met up earlier this season as we think about their upcoming playoff game, which you will be calling, by the way. But 48-7 was the final in Week 11. What are the keys in this upcoming game? Well, for New Orleans, an intact offensive line would be a great start. They would stretch their ability to run the football with Mark Ingram and Alvin Kamara allows Drew Brees to make those throws downfield to guys like Mike Thomas and make the big plays and, of course, swing it out to Kamara out of the backfield. On the defensive side of the ball, their ability to pressure Nick Foles will actually be a key in this game. Cam Jordan, their all-pro defensive end, will have a big hand in that. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. He finds some open field here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. Well, I'd have to say in that situation, they're lined up for a running play. It's only third and two. Some element of the pass, but that was really well blocked. Probably call those gravy plays, right, if you're the offensive coordinator? No doubt about it. All you're trying to do is get the two yards necessary for a first down. Then you look up, you've got a whole lot more than that. Yeah, they did. They got a lot more than that, indeed. Now a first down carry. It's Kamara. Muscles him off. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still... Got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second down, Kamara. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Breeze, one of the best ever in these situations as he's trying to get his guy set. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. 
But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Sammy, Sammy! Ready! On second down, Ingram takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. On third down, Mark Ingram. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Kill, 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 kill. This is Ingram on first and 10. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Again, this is Kamara. They juked him. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Jeff Heath, the one to bring him down. No gain on that run, and while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. It's a gain of just three, and the offense likely going to yield to the punting unit here on fourth down. Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on Easy. fourth. Ready. We're waiting. They do go for it. It's Breeze. It's brought in right side by Ginn. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. 0-2, 0-2. Now a handoff. Here's Kamara. And he's got this one across midfield in the Cowboy territory. Tyrone Crawford in on the tackle. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. second down and this one is incomplete this defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield and look it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone eventually that becomes man on man and you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football now breeze looking left side and completing it to thomas and past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. They go play action here on first down. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sad. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy! Now a pitch out to Camara. And able to 
push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a third down. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let him outside where they can really shred your defense. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 23. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Sometimes those lines that are drawn on a grease board or in a playbook, they come to life <laughs> out on the field, don't they? And we just saw that on that outside handoff to the right. That right tackle, he gets excited for that call, doesn't he? He does, because he just wants to dominate his guy and say, listen, I was the point of attack. I took care of business. That's why you're able to get downfield and add all those yards to your total. Yeah, really nice game there. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. On second down, Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That one goes for 24 yards. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. So a good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. They go back to the ground with Smith. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now Elliott. It'll be a 
pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. One man in the backfield, that's Elliott on second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Point after here, coming up. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes our score 17-0. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way we can get it done. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now this time, Breeze will throw. He's going to sling this deep. And this will be caught at the 30. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. down looking middle and it's incomplete Sean Lee the linebacker able to get a hand in and coverage another wayward pass you know things started out poorly in this game and to be frank they just really haven't gotten much better and all that does is embolden a secondary they feel good about what's going on and they just play better and better easy Breeze will try again on second down. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. A really nice gain of 25 yards. get a bit closer and that touchdown puts us in a position to have a discussion doesn't it now it'll be a two-score game after the conversion yeah, i mean there's no doubt with a two-score game they're gonna have to onside kick it we'll just see if they've got a miracle up their sleeve and you wonder what onside kicks they're going to use and in what sequence if they hope to have a chance to win this game And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Thank you. 
They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And oh, a little spin cycle. Room to run now. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 46 yards. And the Cowboys will add on.